So hi guys, welcome back to this channel. In case you're new here, my name is Kendi, and today um, I'm going to do a styling, a countertop styling. So I'm going to do like a simple counter countertop uh, slash working space styling. So I'll try as much as possible and uh, do a simple, simple styling. And um, for the longest time, we wanted to have like a, a separate working space uh, that was convenient, considering the location of the cooker and what I had before. Right now, I'm working with a, like a blank sort of space. Um, it's not like I'm going to do an extreme makeover at once. We'll do it in phases because, again, you have to plan everything. So I'll show you what I'll be working on. And uh, in case I'll make some changes uh, in between, I'll show you like an updated video. You finished your work? Oh, yes, we did. Sorry to interfere. It's okay. I'm going to send there. Let's put it there. So... Uh, in between, in case I make any change, I'll update. Like I'll do an updated video, cause I'm thinking of even uh, using like, since the the area is dark and the backs, I don't like like the. I'm not comfortable with the backsplash as well, so I'm thinking of using some like a contact paper, something contact paper. Yeah, they call it contact paper. Uh so those are changes that will come. But for now, let's work with what we have and let me show you what I'm doing. So this is the area that I'm talking about. That will be the new working space. I attach like a small video of the previous working space. It wasn't enough and it wasn't next to the cooker. Our cooker cannot fit on the, um, on the space that is meant to be. Like at the space where it's meant to stand. So we had to use this side and that's why we also have power there. Okay, so this is the space that you're working on. Um, the backsplash, the finishing, uh, the backsplash is not that uh, good, but um, the good thing is it's something that we can fix. That's what I was saying. Uh, in future, we'll be adding like some contact paper to cover that. So it's either I'll do like a contact paper on the backsplash alone or the backsplash and also on the countertop. So what I'll begin uh, with is cleaning and uh, I'm using this cleaner. It's a very good one. It's a very good one, but now the issue is uh, with the color, like it stains the kitchen towel. That's the only issue. And I'm yet to get like a kitchen towel in this color because I, I can't throw it when it's at that point. Uh, other than that, I'll also attach a picture of another one that I was using before. Actually, this is the my first time using this. I decided to try something new and so far that is the only issue that I have with this. So the next thing that I'll do, I'll clean uh, with this disinfectant. This is my favorite. What happens is uh, you need an extra spray bottle. Uh, that you can use to dilute and for ease of use because as you can see we don't have like a spray like a spray area on this on this one and uh, it's lavender actually I, I love lavender and it's very calming and I use the same for the backsplash so I'll start uh, with this tray it's like a it's a rantan tray and i love it uh, because it brings that outdoor feature or mode in the kitchen so i place it at the far end then i go in with this uh fake uh, flowers and uh, i love this especially that marble like effect on it so before this is what I was using to hold these small wooden spoons, the others are drying on the other side. But now I've decided to change it to this white one. They feel uh, they look good with them, especially when the others are dry and we add them. Here. Then we have this 
clear container uh, that can hold like that holds the spoons wooden spoons thing is uh, this tray uh, that I love actually these are real cereals we have maize we have uh, beans we have popcorn seeds green grams all those this right there so I'm going to have it stand on this side I would have loved to have some uh, like the wooden um, chop boards style here but I'll have them on the other side because I really want to have like this whole space when I'm cooking so that's it uh, I really love it I feel it looks good it looks simple and uh, practical at the same time and uh, as this other space it's enough and the good thing this is movable so in between in case we make some new developments or changes in there i'll update you but so far i think it's good and i'm happy with it so we've come to the end of this video so it's that short remember to like share and subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend share with everyone this video and uh looking forward to doing more styling video actually i'll concentrate on the kitchen and we'll be doing different changes here and there thanks a lot for your time bye bye so i decided to add uh the servants 